just when you thought it was safe to go back on the internet. What is up, everybody? This is Justin Proper here, and today, uh, well, first off, I'd like to welcome back uh, everybody to the channel. Uh, I have been around uh, not as much as I would like to be in, uh, but this has, uh, this really threw me off. This, this, this threw me for a loop. So according to Variety, Steven Spielberg won't be directing Indiana Jones 5. Instead, James Mangold is in talks uh, to replace. So, um, yeah, uh, this is the thing now. So, this is what the article has to say. Uh, by the way, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. My feelings won't be hurt. But either way, let me know what you think about everything and all of this in the comment section down below. Let's just get into this. After a long development process, Steven Spielberg is handing the directing reins on Indiana Jones 5 to another filmmaker for the first time in the franchise's 39-year history, Variety has learned. Sources say while a deal hasn't closed, a deal hasn't closed, so they basically what they just said is that Spielberg's gone, we don't have a director, so we're going to try to get this guy. I have nothing against James Mangold. I don't think that he's had any sort of reputation of, you know, being you know, disingenuous or being, you know, terrible to fans or anything. I know that he was going to take some sort of Indiana, not Indiana Jones, uh, he was going to take a Star Wars project at some point, uh, but that didn't work out. So I'm hopefully, uh, you know, for his sake, you know, this would be a great opportunity for him. But uh, this is the part that kind of concerns me. Spielberg will remain as a hands-on producer on Indy 5. According to a source close to the filmmaker, the decision to leave the director's chair was entirely Spielberg's, which makes sense because how the hell would you ever fire Steven Spielberg from an Indiana Jones film? That'd be ridiculous. Um, in a desire to pass along Indy's whip to a new generation to bring their perspective to the story. No! No! <laughs> For God's sake, no! We here's here's why that this is this is so disturbing. Uh, to pass to uh, to pass it on to a new generation to bring their perspective to the story, but we already know what that means for Lucasfilm. Look what happened with Star Wars. It's just going to be more just some woke nonsense, something that doesn't belong in an Indiana Jones film. Indiana Jones probably won't act like himself. And you know what's even stranger about this story? A couple weeks ago, if you remember, Harrison Ford was announced officially to be returning as Indiana Jones. And Geeks and Gamers actually made a video on this, on this subject. What Jeremy's about to say, what I'm about to play here, is something that almost made me just... I burst out laughing when he said this. So, this is what he said. Um... The only thing that would surprise me um, is if they actually got a competent director to helm this film. But we all know no competent director is actually going to work with Lucasfilm mm -hmm. because we know Kathleen Kennedy cannot manage a competent director. It Very has true. to be a weak-minded beta type of director that's going to follow her every command, much like a Ryan Johnson or a J.J. Abrams. So that's where I was just like, no, 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 dude. Uh, like, you you totally don't get it. Like, how do you forget that Steven Spielberg's attached to direct it? Like, how do you forget that? So why why would that even be brought up? And it kind of hit me uh, today, just realizing that, you know, I almost making this video, I decided not to and just wait and see what happened. And look what happened. The video would have come across as pretty condescending. And now... Looky here, I would have looked like a damn fool. Just, just like, hey, jerk. <laughs> like, you, you know, you thought you were so smart thinking that, you know, one of the most, the, one of the few guarantees that I thought was going to happen, everyone else thought it was going to happen. It's like, Indiana Jones 5, director, Steven Spielberg. Yeah, it's pretty much, it was going to be a thing for the longest time. So I don't know what happened. What made Steven decide that he wanted to pass this on to a new generation? Did he just give up on this project? I, I have no idea. I, all I can guess is that this is speculation. And perhaps he doesn't want to be responsible for this. For th this... T <laughs> for the tanking of the franchise once again. And look. And for me, you know, this is just the kind of thing that... I think we should just expect from Lucasfilm. I mean, think of it this way. What exactly do you have to do to get Steven Spielberg... To leave an Indiana Jones film. 
It's like one of his favorite franchises to keep returning to. He's... How does... How do you... This is like his baby. It's like George Lucas's baby. It's Harrison Ford's baby. Harrison even said the character of Indiana Jones is gone when he's gone. So how do you... How do you manage this? How does this happen? Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy is what happens. Because Kathleen Kennedy, as you know, Jeremy said just earlier, like this is you know, she's not very great with directors. And at least not competent ones who aren't willing to play ball. And you know, this falls on the shoulders of Kathleen Kennedy. This is this is the this is the legacy that Disney Lucasfilm is going to have. They made Steven Spielberg leave an Indiana Jones film. The possibly the last Indiana Jones film. I guarantee you it's going to this is going to be it. They're not going to make any more after this. Although I'm probably going to eat my words with that too. Just you know the whole reason why Indiana Jones is so magical is because of the beautiful minds of these three guys, Spielberg, George Lucas, Harrison Ford, all getting together and making something awesome. And now it's not going to feel the same. The magic is going to be gone, just like it left Star Wars a long time ago. This really makes me really upset. Um, and, you know, I, I love this franchise. You know, I even, I love all of these films. I even love Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, despite the not-so-great ending. Although... A future video will be coming out uh, on the Indiana Jones franchise at a later date. Uh, more details will be coming soon. I look forward to that. Um, and just just to me, like this this is just really upsetting. So, uh, But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you didn't like the video, that's okay. Hit the dislike button. My feelings won't be hurt. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And shout out to my proper compadres over on Patreon. Merry Mayhem, and what an ass, what a bitch, what a cuck. Thank you all so much. You're, you guys are awesome. Live long and proper. And as always, have a great day. <sighs> Lucasfilm.